if you've ever dealt with a narcissist, you've probably asked yourself more than once, how do I expose this person? How do I show people who they're really dealing with? Does that sound familiar to you? If so, this video is for you. Today at QueenBeing.com, we're talking about exactly what happens when you expose a narcissist. What should you expect? How do you do it? And whether or not you should bother even trying. So let's get started. Closed captioning provided by Athena Moberg and CPTSDFoundation.org. I'm Angie Atkinson, and this is Toxic Relationship Rehab, where I help you discover, understand, and overcome toxic relationships in your life. So if you want to take back your life, embrace your power, and become the best possible version of yourself, hit that subscribe button, stick with me, and let's get going. So you want to expose the narcissist in your life, right? And my guess, if you're anything like I was, is that you want to do this because you want to show everyone around you that it's not you, you're really not the crazy one, and that this person maybe has been smear campaigning you or just straight up lying about you. Are you exhausted by now? Are you tired of being that one who everyone kind of worries about or whispers about? Maybe the person everybody seems to feel sorry for, or worse, the one everyone seems to think is pure evil? This, of course, is all thanks to those nice lies and half-truths that the narcissist freely spreads about you. Maybe you're tired of taking the blame for the narcissist and from the narcissist. The blame for everything that goes wrong, real or imagined. Maybe you're tired of covering up for all their lies, their indiscretions, and their general BS. Maybe the narcissist has been on a smear campaign and you've just about had enough. The narcissist does this because it helps to further isolate you and it gives them more control of you. They constantly put your credibility into question with gaslighting, manipulation tactics, smear campaigns, and even the use of flying monkeys. You know, those people who do the bidding of the narcissist. Yeah. So listen, I feel you. I've been right where you are. Heck, I've even felt the need to give a narcissist a taste of their own medicine now and then. I mean, who hasn't? We're human, right? But before we get right in the middle of all of this, let me just put something out there for you. Sometimes the best solution is just to walk away. The narcissist will eventually expose themselves to anyone who dares to get close to them. You'll see the telltale eye rolls. You'll feel the tension. You'll hear the strained tones and the fake cheer in the voices of anyone who's been exposed to the true face of the narcissist. Between you and me, even the flying monkeys the narcissist so gleefully employs, even they will have their moments of weakness in which they kind of reveal the truth, kind of spill the beans about who they're really dealing with. Just like in the movie Mean Girls, where Gretchen Wieners ends up kind of spilling the beans about Regina George after Katie Heron, the main character, kind of provokes her into it during her diabolical plan with Janice Ian. They will reveal the level of manipulation to which the narcissist has subjected them. Still, if you're looking for the most effective ways to expose a narcissist and to force them to show their true colors to the people around them, Look no further. I'm about to share with you exactly the steps that you need to take to help the people around you see the true face of the narcissist. Let's get right into it. This is how you can expose a narcissist in three steps. These are fail-proof steps that are proven and that just plain work. Number one, you have to understand who and what you're dealing with. So you need to educate yourself about narcissism. You know that I always say knowledge is power. And in this case, that could not be truer. You must understand the concept of toxic narcissism and, of course, narcissistic personality disorder before you can expect to help anyone understand exactly who they're dealing with and what they're dealing with. So educate yourself on the symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder, the causes, the symptoms, the effects, and how narcissistic abuse affects the victims involved. And don't forget the longer term and more serious complications. Find out how exactly doctors diagnose narcissistic personality disorder. Learn what manipulation tactics are common to narcissists. And take a little time to figure out exactly how to understand and manage and cope with the behavior that comes from a narcissist. Now listen, while you're at it, you're going to have to do me a favor and make sure that your self-esteem is unbreakable. I know that's hard, but if you know anything about narcissists, you know that they fight dirty. And they don't concern themselves with the emotion or the well-being of anyone else. This is especially true when it doesn't serve them to do that. Of course, anyone who threatens their illusion and their false sense of self, as you're about to do when you expose them for who they are and what they are, well, narcissists will stop at nothing to get what they want from you. And they'll stop at nothing to hurt you if you do try to expose them. 
So be aware of that and be prepared. Number two, you have to stop helping the narcissist hide. You can't let them have any more excuses and you can't cover up their, their bad behavior for them. You probably didn't even realize you were doing it. But after you've been involved with the narcissist for a while, it's almost second nature. You fall into certain codependent habits. You might find yourself coddling them or just accepting certain behaviors and conditions out of habit. So one simple way to make a narcissist show his or her true colors is simply to stop doing that. Stop covering up for them. Stop helping them hide. So what does that mean exactly? Well, don't make excuses if a narcissist kind of flakes out on plans you have with other people. And when that mask inevitably begins to break away, don't make excuses and don't cover it up for them. Don't help them. I'm going to just give you a friendly warning here. This is going to be really uncomfortable at the beginning. But it is a very effective way to open the eyes of people around the narcissist. This brings me to number three. Tell it like it is, baby. This is a pretty simple concept, but sometimes simple is exactly what you need. So in order to expose a narcissist, you just tell it like it is. Say something that triggers narcissistic behavior and don't take it back. That'll cause the narcissist to expose him or herself right away because they won't be able to hold back if you don't do the customary two-step that you usually do around the issue, if you don't help them save face. Again, this is a friendly warning, but you've got to be really, really strong to do this. If you are in a toxic codependent relationship with a narcissist, you're going to have to have a will of steel to do this. This is not easy, and I'm not pretending that it's easy, but this is one way you can expose a narcissist. But if you're going to do it, my friend, you've got to do it right. So think about what kind of things typically trigger the narcissist rages, and then you have to boldly use those things to your advantage. You have to be fearless or it won't work. I know that's hard. And you can't feel bad about it because this will be literally you turning their behaviors against them. If you need a little help with not feeling bad, just ask yourself, how often has this narcissist done these things to you? Here are some ways you can do this. Make a statement or point out a fact that contradicts the narcissist's inflated perception of him or herself, that grandiosity. For example, you might say something like, well, wait a minute, I thought you got a promotion. Why are you still driving that old car? You must really have a lot of expenses. Any open criticism that you can make or disagreement or blatant exposure of fake achievements, made up stories, lies, deceptions in general, ding, ding. Another one you can do is to belittle some talent or skill they think they have. Like, dude, your rap skills totally need to go back to the 80s where they came from, for example. Another thing you can do is a statement that indicates that the narcissist is somehow not good enough or less than, or that they're somehow controlled or somehow dependent on you or someone else. Something like, man, you're really messed up. I don't know what you'd do without me. Another thing you can do is try describing the narcissist as someone who's average or common, you know, just like everyone else. For example, if you're talking to a female narcissist, maybe you'll say something like, oh, you're just a typical woman. All women are crazy. Maybe if you're talking to a male narcissist, you'll say something like, wow, all men are pigs and you are just one more oinker in the pig pen of my life. I don't know, something like that. Another thing you can do is point out any weakness the narcissist might have or make any indication at all that the narcissist is weak. For example, you might say something like, oh, let me help you. You're clearly in need. You're weak, slow, lazy, stupid, whatever. Insert insulting adjective here. You poor thing. Why does this kind of stuff work to expose a narcissist? Isn't this kind of ridiculous? Well, yeah, it is. But you see, the narcissist believes literally that he or she is different and better than other people. Everyone, in fact. They believe they're so special that everyone else should recognize this and treat them accordingly. So while the narcissist might be really, really good at making outsiders think they're super cool and friendly and fun and awesome, or laid back or whatever it is they're trying to make people think, the truth is that the best possible way to expose a narcissist is to simply let them expose themselves. When you use the three steps that I outlined today, you will almost definitely expose the narcissist and make everyone around you and them see through their mask really, really fast. But listen, you've got to be prepared for the very strong reaction that is most definitely going to come from the narcissist. It will come, it will be strong, it will be unpleasant, and you will not like it. But you know what? If you're prepared, you can totally handle it. One last thing before you try this whole thing at home. The truth is that while exposing the narcissist to the people around him or her might certainly help some of them to get a clue 
and stop allowing themselves to be part of the whole narcissistic circle of supply, it'll only temporarily slow the narcissist down. In fact, it'll give the narcissist a lot of fuel that they need to kind of get the next supply on the line. Their very own personal savior, so to speak. Because, of course, in the narcissist version of the story, you'll be the crazy one. You know, that crazy person who was so mean and hateful to them and who, of course, tried to make their family and their friends hate them, the poor, innocent thing that they are. You feel me? It's kind of a cycle. It's not worth it. It's just going to make you miserable. The best and only solution to this type of problem with this type of person, if you want to be happy or remain happy or get happy, is to take back your power and to create the life that you want, with or without them, hopefully without them, if we're being honest. You're not going to successfully create a life with a narcissist that is fulfilling for yourself, at least not for long. Going no contact is statistically the best thing you can do to actually get past the narcissist abuse. It's the only sure thing kind of answer here. Going low contact is the next best thing if you're dealing with children or a business together. Now I'm going to share with you a few videos right here in a playlist that will help you to get a little bit more information about how you might expose a narcissist and what you can do instead of exposing a narcissist if that doesn't work for you. This brings me to the question of the day, and the question of the day is, what do you think? Have you ever caused a narcissist to be exposed personally, directly, or indirectly? How did it turn out for you? Share your thoughts, share your experiences, share your ideas in the comment section below, and let's talk about it. Now, before I go, I want to make sure to give a shout out to my amazing channel members, those people who choose to support me through the YouTube membership program. Thank you so much for your support. It really does mean the world to me because you're helping me to further grow my mission to help narcissistic abuse survivors discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse in toxic relationships. You'll see their names scrolling right there. And to everyone who likes my videos, subscribes to my channel, shares my videos, and comments on my videos, thank you so much. Every action you take toward one of my videos helps me to spread my message just a little bit further and help more people. I genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so much. Now before I go, make sure you take a look at the videos I'm leaving for you right there and right there. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button so we can stay connected and continue on this healing journey together. I'll see you soon.